Today's program is all about rail project. First, we kick off the show with the inspection of the Lagos Rail Mass Transit Red Line project by Governor Babaji Desanwolu, where he assured Lagosians that the ongoing project will become a reality before the end of his first term in office. Take a look. Elections over, the Lagos State Governor is back to work continuing his leadership role in the state. With his new mandate in the bag, Governor Babajiri Samolu is at Yaba area of Lagos alongside his deputy, Mr. Kadri Hamzat, and some other state officials to inspect the Red Line rail project. He moves around the Yaba terminal to inspect the ongoing project the flyover for vehicular movement within the area and also interact with traders on the dangers of the rail line. The next stop is Oyingbo for an on-the-spot assessment of the rail line as well as the flyover construction which is nearing its completion stage. He then gives an update on the project. We started with Yaba, so we have a train station there, and we also have and, um, a, a bridge, a vehicular bridge overpass. Um, with the train station, we believe we are about um, 75 to 80% completion, and the bridge, um, it's about 90, 95%, but the adjoining road you know, um, around Yaba still needs to be cleaned up. So in total, we think it's about 90, 85 to 90 percent, you know, um, there. And we're satisfied with the level of work, both by step construction and um, Messrs. Krenborg, who are doing the bridge there. Um, you could see also there a lot of um, commercial activity, especially all around the rail track. And part of the, the essence of this visit is for us to continue to um, do a lot of advocacy for um, traders on that track, that um, the track will be fully walled off, you know, when, when the stations are completed. And you saw from um, the turnout of, of, of citizens there that they're all living in peace, peaceful coexistence, you know, amongst all of our ethnic national in Yaba, Teju Shu, you know, and, and all the environs there. Um, and coming also here, which is the um, Uimbo interchange by Apapa Road, um, the station is over there. The station is also about 95% um, completed. You know, the, that's the station over there. It's just doing the, the pedestrian bridge work. Um, but the overpass, I mean, the the vehicle overpass, which is where we're standing, um, in our view, um, still need a few things to be done, especially with the adjoining roads and the final lane of the bridge itself. So we say this one is about 70, 75%, because all the columns and all the beams have been completed. It's really more around um, um, to, to do the asphalting, to do the street light, and to complete you know, um, the adjoining um, roads that are, that are beneath here. So, so we are also still satisfied. We believe, um, you, you probably didn't notice, while we're passing the epitemeta station, the red line trains were parked, you know, um, on the, on the right-hand side. From Yaba, we could see the train, trains themselves, you know, so they are, they are tucked in and parked away, you know, from the track they're, they're by the epitemeta station there. So we believe we're still on track. You know, we believe that it should be ready uh, before the end of, um, um, depending on when we want to commission it uh, before the end of um, our first term. 
According to the state government, the Lagos Steel Rail Track will at some point work with the Nigeria Railway in order to harmonize the rail lines. This rail track will also be working with the, um, the Nigeria Railway Corporation, which is the train that will from Lagos, from Ebutimeta here, all the way to Ibadan. So we need to be able to harmonize um, a lot of um, um, signalization between um, the, our own rail infrastructure and the Nigeria Railway Corporation rail infrastructure. Um, you can see, and as you can see, um, all of these bridges are very, very important because of what we saw, the unfortunate you know, um, train bus accident that we saw um, um, about two and a half weeks ago, um, where at Shogunle, you know, there was um, a grid crossing. And, and so all of these bridges that we're building, apart from the fact that they are full vehicular bridges, is also to forestall, you know, train and vehicle and passenger needed to, you know, um, have any form of interaction. So this is the highest grade of ensuring that you can completely um, um, remove any contact with rail. That's when you build a complete, you know, um, alternative mode of transportation for passengers, for pedestrian, and for vehicles. You know, and that's what we've seen here. And so you can see that we have this similar bridge, you know, not only in Nebutemeta here, in um, Old Yaba, what's this place now? Apapa Road Junction, we have another one at Yaba. We have another one at uh, Mushi, Mushi to, that crosses to um, um, Onipan, you know. And we have the Keja along, you know. Um, we're also building one federal government at um, Ayola, um, Koka, you know. So that is also um, going on. So there are one or two others that will still need to be built, you know, in the course of um, the coming um, years ahead. The blue line, like we said, is an electric train. So the, the track two are electric. So it is the testing of ensuring that, you know, all of the electrical components you know, um, on those tracks are fully complete. That's what, that's the testing they are doing. So they are building substations, you know, they are building, you know, power redundancy to ensure that, you know, the trains themselves, right, have working smoothly, you know, on, on the tracks and ensuring that all the, the wall off, you know, that is required is done. And of course, at the stations themselves, they are installing, you know, CCTV cameras. They are ensuring that, you know, the ingress and the outgress of the stations are also completed. And finally, they are also carrying, you know, passengers, not pay, not fee-paying passengers, you know, um, citizens that want to have a feel, you know, of, of what, of what um, um, embarking and disembarking on a train, what, what it entails. And Lamata still told me that they have a request of over 12,000 citizens that want to go on free rides. You know, so they take them in batches. They take them in batches so that people get used to it before you know, you, you open it up because you cannot afford to make any mistake. You cannot afford to get anything wrong. So it's better for you to wait and make sure that all the boxes are ticked properly, properly and functionally before you open it up. We don't have any space for ethnicity, you know, or um, ethnic bigotry in our own system. We don't, we don't, we don't have any space for any um, divisive um, um, coloration that wants to continue to divide us. And that you can also see, you know, you can see the turnout, the commercial activity that has um, immediately, I mean, and switched in, in Lagos. At the Yaba station, we have a huge Aousa community. We had a huge Eastern, you know, South-South community. And we also have a huge Yoruba community. And everybody is trading. And they are committing and they are, they are expressing themselves. And you saw all of them. And that's the spirit of Lagos. That's the spirit that we want to tell um, people that are still carrying politics, you know, of bitterness, that they should see the bigger picture and join us, you know, in, um, in meeting the, the, the aspiration of Lagosians, which is to provide, you know, economic opportunity for them to make this place continue to remain peaceful and continue to provide, you know, um, that economic space for them for them to be able to hike a living and live and be a better citizen for themselves and for their family. Governor Sawon Lu insists that the delivery date of the Lagos State Red Line remains the same and assured residents that the project will be ready before the end of his first term in office.